Welcome back to the Mass Swine Backyard Barbecue, where in today's video, we're going to take you to LA once again LA, for the LA Danger Dog. It's right here, right here, but we're going to step out of tradition just for a little bit, and I'm going to take you to the Stub Jalapeno Cheddar Dog what? right here, bacon wrapped. That's right. See, I love tradition, but I also love going outside the box once in a while, and if you want to give me a thumbs down for that, Go ahead, you know where it's at. Everyone else, I appreciate you staying for the ride. This is how it's done. So I'm using just your basic bar ass hot dogs. These are the ones made with chicken and pork. You don't have to use all beef. You can if you want to, go for it if that's what you wanna do. But for today, I'm using these. Then we're gonna to jump to the Johnsonville jalapeno cheddar. Now, I haven't tried this, so I'm excited to see how this is gonna turn out. Your bar ass bacon, you're just your basic run of the mill bacon. It doesn't have to be thick cut. This is what I'm using. And these are the veggies. We got red, yellow, and orange bell peppers, serrano chiles, and onions. Now, as far as the serrano chiles go, in downtown in LA, they usually use jalapenos, but I'm using serrano chiles because I like the consistent heat that these give. I like to slice these in quarters, then you can cut off the backs and they fall into four pieces. And these are the buns I'm gonna go ahead and use. So we have the bar S on this side and the stuffed jalapeno cheddar over here. Now, let me show you how I roll these up. Roll it. I'm gonna use one bacon per wiener and I'm gonna drape a piece over the top like a little helmet and just roll from there. And you don't have to use a toothpick for this. You can if that's what you wanna do. I typically don't. I just make sure that when I'm rotating on the flat top I rotate it so it doesn't unwind itself so that's all there is to it that's it so let me just kind of fill you in on why I'm trying these stuffed sausages me and my fiance stood the weekend at a winery in Temecula California and they were selling sausages there now I came across this pineapple stuffed sausage that was absolutely amazing and immediately I just wanted to find out how that would be how that would pair up with some bacon which I know would be awesome but I can't find any pineapple stuffed sausages so I had to had to use these jalapeno cheddars all right there you have it nice and wrapped let's get these on the flat top now oh yeah all right let the games begin all right so if you guys were with me during the first video that I made of these danger dogs and you know I had a little technical difficulty where the battery on my phone died and I missed the opportunity of assembling these hot dogs on video. No footage of that. But in this video, it's all here, baby. Got you guys. As you can see, I'm already laying out these veggies on the flat top all at the same time. And if you're somebody who likes more bite in your veggies, then wait till your bacon wraps are at least three quarters of the way done. Don't put them on the grill like you see me doing them here because all that's gonna happen if you leave them with your bacon wraps, they're gonna end up being very well done, which for me, I could care less. I like them either which way. It doesn't ruin it for me. When you go to downtown or when you go down to the alleys in LA and you find these carts that sell these bacon wraps, nine times out of 10, they are gonna be a little overcooked as far as the toppings so if that matters to you yeah. just hold off on the veggies till about three quarters of the way with your bacon wraps then that'll just ensure that you get a nice bite to all your veggies and just in case you're wondering i have all four burners set to low
These bacon wrap hot dogs are finished. It's time to get them off the flat top, then show you what I'm working with. But before I do that, let me show you what it looks like when I'm doing multiple bacon wraps on a medium heat right here. So these bacon wraps are piping hot. This is a good opportunity to put some veggies all over that bacon grease and hook them up that way. Booyah. So this is what the stuffed jalapeno cheddar looks like. Now that's juicy, that's delicious. Now if you wanna go a little bit more upscale, you can make them like this with a little bit of pico de gallo. This is awesome. Not traditional, but very, very good nonetheless. So very difficult to hire a hand model to go ahead and assemble these hot dogs. So I was lucky. I got a very, very beautiful assistant right here building these hot dogs for me. And there she goes. Check this out. All right, let's tell you how to assemble these bad boys. We're gonna start off with some soft buns. <laughs> then get your bacon wrap, apply it, put all the toppings you want, heavy or light, and then your condiments are gonna be ketchup, mayo, and mustard, in any order that you want it to be. And for a little bit of heat, don't forget the serrano chiles or the jalapenos if that's what you're using. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's time to take a bite into this traditional LA Danger Dog. And then we're gonna take a bite on that stuffed jalapeno cheddar. And we're gonna see which one is better. Which one's better, the cheddar? Ah. Here we go. There it is, guys, check that out. Oh yeah, oh, don't tell nobody. I just spilled a bunch of it on the floor, yikes. Mm. Mm. All right, traditional LA dog, bomb as hell. I can do this all day long. That's good. Matt, one more bite, right? Hmm. Now let's go for the jalapeno stuffed cheddar. Look at that. There it is. Looks just like an LA Danger Dog. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, damn. Damn. See, hold on, hold on. I could be mistaken. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Mm. Damn it. Jalapeno stuffed cheddar, sausage, bacon wrap. I'm gonna be doing that again. That shit is bomb. The traditional LA dog, this brings me right back down to the Santiales, down in Hollywood, down in Santa Monica on the, on the freaking pier. All this right here. There's no wrong way to do it. Do it the way you wanna do it and just, just share it with everybody. That's all that matters. That's all it's, that's what this is about. Man, babe, you hungry? Yeah. 
Oh man, we got food right here. It's time to eat dinner. See you guys next time.